At this point, we are going to learn how to use the chain rule to find the derivative of a composite function. Of course, the chain rule is used to find the derivative of a composite function. A composite function is basically a function in another function or a function of another function. The simplest example I can give is f of g of x. Now, f of g of x is a composite function of f of x and g of x. Now, let's take a very simple example and let's use the chain rule to find the derivative of that function. Now, let's consider a function y is equal to x squared plus 1 all squared. Now, this is a composite function because we have the inner function and then we also have the outer function. So this is a function of another function. Now, according to the chain rule, the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the product of the derivative of y with respect to u and the derivative of u with respect to x. So to find the derivative of y with respect to x, we are first of all going to find the derivative of y with respect to u and then we multiply by or with the derivative of u with respect to x. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to replace x squared plus 1 with u. So we say let u equals x squared plus 1 which means that we have y to be equal to u squared because the whole of this is u so we have u squared. Now let's find the y du and then we find du dx. So the y du means that we are going to differentiate this function with respect to u. So when we differentiate u squared we have 2u and then we come to du dx. Now we are going to consider this. So the derivative of u with respect to x becomes 2x and the constant goes to 0. So now using this, dy dx is equal to, we have dy du to be 2u. So we write 2u and then we multiply with du dx which is 2x. So we can multiply 2 and 2x to get 4x and then we know that u is equal to x squared plus 1. So we write times x squared plus 1. So this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Now we can use an alternative method to find the derivative of this function. We can do that by expanding this expression. However, the expansion may lead to tedious long multiplication, especially if the exponent is a large value or you have a fraction as the exponent. And we also don't want to be in such a situation, so it would be proper to use the chain rule to find the derivative of such a function. Aside from that, we can also use a simple approach to find the derivative of this function. Now this approach we are talking about bases on the same chain rule. However, we are going to skip some steps. So let's say we have y equals x squared plus 1 all squared then dy dx the derivative of y with respect to x becomes now we are going to drop this two so we write our two and then we differentiate what's in the bracket so we have 2x we differentiate this with respect to x so we have 2x and then we rewrite this expression that is x squared plus 1 and then we reduce the exponent by 1 so dy dx becomes 2 times 2x is 4x and then multiplied by x squared plus 1. So you realize that this is the same as this. But for the sake of examination, you would want to use this approach rather than this approach. However, they will give you the same answer. So now let's take a few examples. So given that y is equal to 4x minus 5 exponent 3, we are going to use the chain rule to find the derivative of this function. 
so from chain rule we know that dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx so first of all we say that let u be 4x minus 5 and then y becomes u cube next we are going to find dy du so dy du is equal to you are going to differentiate this with respect to u so this becomes 3u squared and then du dx we are going to differentiate this with respect to x so that is 4 so dy dx becomes we need to multiply this and then this so we have 3u squared times 4 so let's multiply 3 and then 4 we have 12 u squared and then u is 4x minus 5 so we have 4x minus 5 in here and then squared so this is dy dx now let's try to use the shortcut to solve this so given that y is 4x minus 5 exponent 3 then dy dx is equal to we drop down the 3 we differentiate what's in the brackets with respect to x so we have 4 and then we maintain the same expression 4x minus 5 and then we reduce the exponent by 1 so dy dx is equal to 3 times 4 is 12 and then multiplied by 4x minus 5 exponent 2 which is the same as what we have here so now let's move on and solve some questions involving square roots so for the second example we have the function y is equal to the square root of 3x plus 2 now the square root of 3x plus 2 is the same as 3x plus 2 exponent 1 over 2 we all know that dy dx from chain rule is equal to dy du times du dx so we let u be what's in the bracket that is 3x plus 2 so that y is equal to u exponent 1 over 2 now let's find dy du so dy du means that we are going to differentiate this with respect to u so we have half times u exponent 1 over 2 minus 1 and this becomes half times u exponent negative 1 over 2 and then we move on to du dx so for du dx we are going to differentiate this with respect to x so that's going to be 3 so dy dx is equal to we are going to multiply this and then this so we have 1 over 2 u exponent negative 1 over 2 times 3 so this becomes 3 over 2 u exponent negative 1 over 2 so we can rewrite this as 3 over 2 times 1 over u exponent 1 over 2 okay and this finally becomes 3 over 2 times the square root of u don't forget that u is equal to 3x plus 2 so we are going to substitute that here so we have dy dx to be 3 over 2 times the square root of 3x plus 2 let's take the very last example so for the last example 
we are going to find the derivative of y with respect to x for this function 1 over the square root of x squared minus 1. Now this is equal to 1 over x squared minus 1 exponent 1 over 2 and from indices we are going to move this up so it becomes x squared minus 1 exponent negative 1 over 2 so this is y so from chain rule we know that dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx now let u be x squared minus 1 so that y is equal to u exponent negative 1 over 2 now let's find dy du so we are going to differentiate this with respect to u so that becomes negative 1 over 2 times u exponent negative 1 over 2 minus 1 and that is equal to negative 1 over 2 times u exponent negative 3 over 2 then the u dx is equal to we differentiate this with respect to x and then we have 2x so we are going to multiply this and this for dy dx so we are going to have negative 1 over 2 times u exponent negative 3 over 2 times 2x so 2 cancels out 2 and then we have dy dx as a negative x times u exponent negative 3 over 2 now this is the same as negative x times 1 over u exponent 3 over 2 because we've moved the u to the denominator the negative sign will go away so we have u exponent 3 over 2 now this is the same as negative x over first of all you write the square root sign you put in u and the numerator becomes the exponent of u and the denominator goes here don't forget that u is equal to x square minus 1 so we are going to substitute that here so finally dy dx is equal to negative x over the square root of x square minus 1 cube